All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the Inquire Parent Night um, for the Inquire Academy. Uh, my name is Clint Ron. I am the team lead for Inquire at Jane Long. I'm also a sixth grade social studies teacher. Um, this is Mr. Weiss, who's going to be helping us translate for those of you that need that tonight. Um, I would also like to introduce Ms. Cody Satterfield. She is the principal here at Jane Long. I would also like to introduce Ms. Klatt, who is visiting us from Davila, as well as Ms. Leonard Hefner, who is also from Davila. Um, I would also like to introduce our Inquirer counselor, Ms. Pamela Perone. Um, she would help out with any of the scheduling information or anything that your students would need. Um, I would also like to introduce our team members. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce our fifth grade Inquire team. So if you guys can stand up and wave at everybody, just let them know where you're at. You'll have an opportunity to speak with them a little bit later. Our sixth grade, or sorry, our fifth grade dual language um, team. Our sixth grade Inquire team, which is me and Mr. Uh, Eirich and then Ms. Fernando back there. And then our sixth grade dual language team. All right, thank you guys very much. All right, so welcome to Inquire Academy Night. We are gonna be talking a little bit about what this program offers your children. Um, and we are very excited to show some new things that we have been doing within the Inquire program. Hola a todos, eh, mi nombre es eh, Daniel Weiss, soy profesor de aquí de, de Long, del programa Dual. Eh, soy maestro de lenguaje, de lectura. Y estamos aquí para darles la bienvenida a todos ustedes. Vamos a hablar acerca del programa de Inquire, eh, la Academia de Inquire. Y lo que acabamos de hacer es dar las introducciones a nuestra directora Cody Satterfield eh, y la consejera Pam Perón y a todo el equipo de quinto y de sexto grado de aquí de Jane Long, tanto de Dual como de Inquire. Y vamos a, estamos emocionados y contentos para poder enseñarles un poco de lo que estamos haciendo este año. Um, we're going to start off with a couple of videos that just kind of introduce what the Inquire program is. Ms. Satterfield, we're not getting any audio. Okay, I guess I can do that. Right. A few weeks ago, I met this new person. He just joined my soccer team. He comes from Mexico, he, so he knows Spanish. Not only can I communicate with him, but I can also help him with different activities. Vas a conocer nuevos amigos que sí o no van a saber español. Puedes ayudar a muchas personas y en el futuro te va a ayudar a saber dos lenguajes. I think it'll help me because I like to travel, and if I travel somewhere where somebody speaks Spanish, I can talk to them in Spanish instead of English. I think learning another language is useful in life because maybe you have a job, but 
it's in Spanish, and you really want that job because it's paying, but you can't, you don't speak Spanish, so they're not going to give it to you. But if you spoke Spanish, they're going to give you that really high-paying job, and they might even give you more for understanding both languages, and you could help more people. We usually, like, do activities that help us learn our languages. So one week we do English, and next week we do Spanish. And we keep doing that until the end of the year. We also get partners um, that are more fluent in one language than the other, so that whenever it's their fluent week language, um, they can help their other partner with that same language. If you want to do the dual language program, you should probably start in kindergarten because even if you, it's pretty easy to catch on in first grade, but if you start too late in, everyone else is probably, might be a higher level than you, but it might be kind of more hard to do it. And I also just, I just recommend it because I had a lot of fun doing it. It's muy bien porque todos los gente están muy amable y tienen muchos amigos amigos y amigas. Porque puedes... All right. Um, we have incorporated the dual language program into the Inquire program. Um, and they join us in the fifth grade and then they go through the fifth grade and the sixth grade. Um, and then we uh, move on. Now, the Inquire Academy goals are to prepare GT and high performing students to learn at an accelerated rate to increase their communication skills and their leadership. We also accelerate and compact our curriculum, which means by the time they leave Jane Long, they will have done all of sixth grade and half of seventh grade in math and science. So that means by the time they get through the eighth grade, they have the opportunity to earn high school credit in biology and in algebra. They also have the opportunity to earn high school credit in a foreign language as well. So they can go into high school ahead of every other student um, that goes in there. So it is an outstanding attempt, or is outstanding for our program. Aquí en Jane Long lo que hacemos es incorporar el programa de dual con el programa de igual. Es decir, eh, los dos son paralelos programas. Eh, al, al estar en quinto grado dual, es, estás también en el programa de igual. Y el programa de dual va y llega solamente hasta sexto grado. Entonces, es en este programa, tanto de Inquire como de dual, donde tratamos de compactar todas esas, les llamamos eh, habilidades y todas esas eh, liderazgos, todas esas lecciones y eh, se puede decir que herramientas de comunicación que van a tener para ser exitosos tanto en el middle school como a nivel de high school, incluso van a poder tener clases en sexto de un poco de currículum de séptimo. Entonces es un programa bastante eh, avanzado porque les da una ventaja para adquirir créditos desde a esta temprana edad para tener ya desde, desde sexto y de quinto grado. Um. Our goals continued is we want these students to be able to collaborate, communicate, and learn from will, real world experiences in the four content classes. Um, we promote critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, and student leadership through our program. Um, everything that we do is based off of projects, is based off of working together as a team, and that helps promote these students to grow as communicators, grow as leaders, so that when they enter high school and college, they are a step ahead of their other students. In the program of the Academy of Inquire, we try to develop leaders exceptional so that they are prepared for the moment that they come to leave the college, to have those tools to be successful y les dan todas esas experiencias a base de proyectos, eh, trabajan mucho en equipo y siempre hay ese apoyo de los profesores hacia ellos para que tengan esas herramientas para que puedan ser muy exitosos. Tanto les eh, tratamos de dar mucho eh, pensamiento crítico y son esos, esas habilidades que van a tener ellos para poder ser tanto exitosos como en el salón, como después de tener un, eh, seguir en sus carreras profesionales. 
in the fifth, uh, the Jane Long program begins in the fifth and sixth grade at Jane Long Intermediate and then goes to the seventh and eighth grade at Davila Middle School. Um, the students that are uh, the extensions of the Enquirer students, they have a choice of different academic programs. Once they enter high school, they can choose to go to Bryan High School, Rudder, or to uh, Bryan Collegiate. And because of their experiences in the Enquirer program, they are able to join either the IB program, the AP program, or a program of their choice, and they will be very well suited for that. Cuando empezamos aquí el programa de Inquire, empezamos aquí quinto y sexto. Cuando llegan ahí, el, la, la continuación es en Dávila, séptimo y octavo. Y esa extensión del programa de Inquire son para aquellos estudiantes para que tengan esa elección de tener esos esas clases avanzadas. Es decir, cuando lleguen a la high school, van a poder escoger entre Bryan High, Rudder High School, y van a poder meterse en esos programas que son llamados Advanced Academic Uh, para ser, poder ser eh, estudiantes excepcionales al nivel que se les va a requerir en ese, cuando lleguen a, ese, a esa altura de sus carreras académicas. The gifted and talented teachers at Bryan ISD are very highly qualified. We have to pass several different uh, trainings in order to teach GT students. Um, teachers of GT students must complete a 30-hour GT training. They must also complete six hours of GT training every single year. But we at Bryan ISD want to go above and beyond that. And so what, one of the major goals was to have all of our teachers get the GT state certification. And any teacher that is hired uh, at either Jane Long or Davila, um, they have a year to uh, get that GT certification and the district pays for that. Los profesores aquí en Jane Long, la verdad que nos pueden, eh, a través de unos cursos, unos requisitos bastante extensos para poder tener esas certificaciones para dar clases de avanzadas académicas. Entonces, nuestra meta para todos los maestros que enseñamos en el programa de Inquire es tener la preparación adecuada para poder darles eh, y enseñarles, darles ese apoyo a todos sus hijos. Um, we're going to have some students that will share some of their inquire experiences. Hi, I'm Ian Tatelbaum. I am a senior at Bryan High School, and I'm also one of the drum majors for the Bryan High Band. I'm also a former inquire student, and I would just like to say that I highly recommend the inquire program for your kids. Um, while I was in the inquire program through my middle school days, you know, it taught me a lot about leadership, being proactive with your work, you know, getting your stuff turned in on time, all that kind of good stuff. And, you know, because of the kind of classes that you're taking in those years, uh, once, the, once your student will get into high school, they'll be far advanced past their peers. And, you know, on top of that, in the Inquire program and in Jane Long, we have some outstanding teachers. Inquire is a GT program where you get to do more advanced curriculum than a normal class would do. Expectations as an Inquire student are having discipline, responsibility, leadership, and communication skills in out of the classroom no matter what. The program doesn't only teach you reading, math, and science, but it also teaches you discipline, leadership, responsibility, and communication skills. All of those will help you in your future life, and that's what's so amazing about the Inquire program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Inquire is a GT program where um, the Inquire Academy of Global Leadership focuses on these areas, business, government and law, biomedical, fine art, and global communications. Through our projects and through our programs, these are what we focus on so that when the students get through with the Inquire program, they are not only um, a well-rounded leader, but they are also a well-rounded student and they are more capable of handling global situations. El área en cual los estudiantes tratamos al menos de nosotros de enfocarlos es negocio o comercio, gobierno, leyes, biomédica, eh, fine arts que vienen siendo las artes liberales o artes y comunicación global. La meta de nosotros es preparar a aquellos estudiantes para poder tener las herramientas para poder ser exitosos en el mundo académico aún después de estar aquí por ejemplo.
We also allow the students to start exploring world languages in the fifth and sixth grade. Um, they, lessons are delivered through a program called Edgenuity, which is an online learning service. They can access this program at any time, even at home, and they have the choice of learning Spanish, Latin, or Chinese, or they can explore all three. Once they move to Davila, then they will be able to select either Chinese or Spanish, is that correct? They will be able to select Chinese or Spanish to actually learn as their foreign language as they move forward into high school. También se les brinda la oportunidad para sus estudiantes de aprender otros idiomas, así que el español, el mandarín, el, que es el chino, eh, y estos programas se empiezan en esta, en esta escuela, pero se siguen, se siguen extendiendo esas lecciones a través del programa que tenemos aquí por Brian ISD. Entonces, tienen la oportunidad para aprender dos idiomas o hasta tres idiomas, español, inglés y mandarín. We also are a project-based learning campus where we do major projects in every single class. And we do one uh, major project-based learning project um, that creates a holistic and well-rounded experience. It gives lots of choice, lots of personal expression, lots of creativity, and it encourages exploration and creativity. Um, the project that the fifth grade students work on is they identify energy resources within the state of Texas. They research those resources. They design a way to get those resources out to the public. They create a brochure of their resource, and then they put it all together and present. When they reach the sixth grade, we take it a step further and we have them build a space colony where they have to analyze the resources of the planet that they're on and they have to create their own resources and learn what resources can help them be successful in a colony. They also create a government for their economy and a way to serve the people on their, on their planet. No, it's a lot. Una de las, de las cosas que hacemos aquí en quinto y, y sexto es que hacemos un proyecto, bueno, es un tipo de, de aprendizaje basado en proyectos. Estos proyectos usan mucho trabajo en equipo, eh, les da la capacidad de trabajar, diseñar e eh, implementar muchos problemas como casi unos ingenieros, ¿no? Se les da el diseño, trabajan en, en conjunto, Les, tra les tratamos de dar esa experiencia para que puedan entender qué es lo que es cómo es trabajar en equipo, cuáles problemas te vas a encontrar cuando estamos queriendo solucionar un problema. Ahora en sexto grado también estamos haciendo un proyecto basado en eh, algo como ficcional. Eh, se trata de encontrar la solución a un problema cuando se trata de, de colonizar una colonia en el espacio, en la luna. Entonces son cosas que tenemos que tomar en cuenta que se usan materias como matemáticas, ciencias, estudios sociales, mucho analítica, entonces son programas que en nuestra escuela tratamos de eh, implementar. Se llama Project Based Learning, el trabajo o el aprendizaje a través del proyecto, a través de, de basado en proyecto. Um, there is also the Texas Perform the Texas Performance Standards, which is done in their science class, their sixth grade year, where they analyze the lifestyles of the fit and famous. They analyze a famous sports figure and figure out what makes them successful. They use aspects of math and science, including the physics behind the different pitches in baseball. Uh, they consider social implications of sport, as well as conducting in-depth investigation on chosen health issues. Texas Performance Standard Project, que es, se, ha, se hace para generar un poco de conciencia acerca de algunas de las, de las, se puede decir, en inglés se dice eh, Life of the Fit and the Famous, que se trata acerca de cómo se puede vivir eh, con una vida saludable basada en buena nutrición. Entonces, son proyectos que de verdad eh, tomamos en cuenta qué es lo que es una vida saludable a base del ejercicio y una buena, un plan de nutrición. Son proyectos que tratamos de, de, de implementar y que los estudiantes tratan de resolver cuando están tratando de, de trabajar en, en este proyecto. 
Also in the sixth grade, the, student inquire, uh, the inquire students learn about leadership in their language arts classes. They read John Maxwell's The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. They complete activities that include leadership qualities, character, uh, focus on generosity and problem solving. They will also complete an independent leadership project um, on a literature character that they choose that they believe has leadership skills. El liderazgo es algo que se trata de, de enseñar en, al, cuando llegan a sexto. Eh, leemos esta, este libro, es basado en el libro de, eh, por John Maxwell. Es acerca de eh, cualidades de, los, de buenos líderes. Entonces hacemos que los estudiantes lean la, la novela y traten de analizarla y entenderla para poder hacer, tomar eso lo, de lo que nos dice el libro y ponerlo en práctica. Es un libro bastante bueno acerca de cómo ser un buen líder y cómo ser, cómo liderar cuando se trata de problemas y esas cosas. There are also extended learning opportunities. We have several field trips that we take our students on, as well as several guest speakers that will come in and speak to the students on practical things like uh, what it's like to own a business, what it's like to be a lawyer, what it's like to work in the entertainment industry. We also um, take them to the Bush Library and see various exhibits and speakers. They have the opportunity um, in the fifth grade normally to go to the NASA Space Center and uh, visit there, and they also have the chance to go to the Houston Aquarium. Eh, también tratamos de hacer eh, field trips, viajes durante el año escolar. Eh, muchos de los lugares que hemos ido en el, en, en el pasado ha sido el Acuario de Houston, hemos ido a NASA, podemos ir a veces a la, a la Texas A&M. Son eh, lugares donde tratamos de que los niños de verdad traten de aprender algo y, y de... de de no solamente ir por, por diversión, sino una, un propósito detrás de cada de esos field trips. Entonces, otros ejemplos, hemos ido a George Bush Library, también hemos ido a varios museos aquí en, en College Station, Brian. We also have several extracurricular activities. Um, this year we have really ramped up the clubs that they can be a part of. Some of the ones that are more associated with the Enquirer program are Lego Robotics, Destination Imagination, and Model UN Junior, where they solve complex and interrelated global problems in a very collaborative environment where they choose to be their own country and they have to solve the problems based on the point of view of that country and not on their own points of view. So it makes them think a little bit deeper. Actividades extracurriculares incluyen eh, robótica de Legos, eh, un programa llamado Destination Imagination, cuya misión es enseñar a nuestros estudiantes el proceso creativo para darles ese poder de las herramientas, cómo, eh, cómo ser exitoso en un mundo cambiando, cambiante, y también el programa de Model UN, que es para eh, resolver problemas complejos y siempre pensando en la comunidad global para que cada estudiante tenga esa, eso en mente siempre cuando están en el programa. And then we have, uh, as I spoke to before, the compacted curriculum. And uh, Mr. Eirich is going to explain that a little bit more since that is his department. Awesome. Sorry if this not close. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so for compacted curriculum, how that works is as we go through our sixth grade curriculum regularly, when there is something that we can extend to the seventh grade, we go ahead and do that along with it. So while um, our students in not, that are not in Inquire are learning something, we're taking it just another step further, a little bit deeper, uh, finding that deeper understanding. So we do that in math and we do that in science so that by the time they get to ninth grade, uh, they are, they've already had an opportunity to start earning those high school credits and they'll have more opportunities for the AP classes so they can get even more college credits um, instead of having to take those um, prerequisites while they're at uh, Jane Long or Davila. Hablamos del currículum compactado, es cuando ya había dicho hace en unos minutos, en Jane Long, el programa de matemáticas de Inquire y el de ciencias, son compactados para que de cierta forma los estudiantes vayan obteniendo crédito desde temprana edad, crédito para la high school, eh, 
se, se entiende que no todos tienen la oportunidad de obtener créditos y menos desde, la, desde, desde nuestra edad. Entonces, es un programa donde de verdad se trata de enfocar, eh, es, un, es riguroso, pero sí se empieza desde sexto grado para que ellos puedan obtener crédito para la high school desde nuestro programa a través de ciencias y matemáticas. All right, we have reached the end of the actual presentation portion. Before we start the questions, will everybody please give Mr. Wise a round of applause? We had a little bit of a technical issue and he stepped in and uh, offered to do the translating and that definitely was not an easy thing, especially the way that I talk. So um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them up here. If you are more comfortable asking individual questions, there are teachers along the back that you can speak to and ask your questions to there.